Luke did that. I did a video on Luke did that about three months ago, over three months ago. And my boy Luke, if you haven't seen that, go check the video out. And my boy Luke, his main platform is on TikTok. And a lot of things have changed in the past three months from when I last did a video on Luke. And that is that he got banned from TikTok. And you know how on TikTok when you, that's not it. You know how on TikTok when you can like go to their account even though after they're banned and it says like this person has been been banned for like community guidelines or something. Um, and those those like no videos or whatever. Um, Luke did that TikTok account doesn't exist anymore. It's been deleted. He had over 10 million followers on TikTok and he got banned and then he deleted his account or TikTok permanently deleted his account. His account doesn't exist anymore. He would have to start over from scratch. I'm sure he has his videos saved somewhere so he can just re-upload them, but he would have to start from scratch, zero followers, and everything like that. And not only that, Luke did that, um, also made a music video a couple months ago. That's gone too. Luke Luke's life is falling apart before my eyes. I am convinced his life is falling apart before my eyes. Because not only is his music video gone, it was it called fake. It was a music video called fake. Not only that, but his account is gone. There's no existence of his account. Um, but I'm, like I said, I'm convinced that Luke's life is falling apart before my eyes. But without further ado, let's get right into exposing Luke did that for the second time. And uh, we're going to be checking out a few of his videos today. So let's go. Let's check it out. Okay, so how am I supposed to know it's real when after every mento you put in your mouth, the video cuts? How am I supposed to know that you're real, Luke? This is my problem with you, Luke. You cut the video constantly. Constantly. Not, I mean, when we think about, like, spicy TikTok YouTube creators, we think, I, when, I, when you ask me that, I think of this guy. I think of uh, Jumbo, Jumbo Spice, which is the sus guy. Uh, Spice God is he, is he uh, refers himself to. Uh, that was, I'm sorry about that. Uh, don't, I didn't know that was going to pop up. Uh, Spice King Cam, I think of, and Ram, Rami Zane. Uh, Rami Zane. Uh, when you ask me about Spice creators, I think of them. Just those four. Um, they don't, they cut their videos, but they don't cut their videos as often as Luke does. They don't do it as often as Luke does, which is my problem. Sure, like everyone else cuts their videos, but not as often as Luke does. So that's my problem with Luke is he cuts the video constantly. And again, how, how am I supposed to know that he's actually that he actually has Mentos in his mouth when he cut the video each time he put a Mento in his mouth? How am I supposed to know that's real? I don't like how he drinks it from the side. Just show the can that it that it doesn't have any holes in it. He drinks it from the side. He like pokes a hole in it and then he drinks it. He opens up the top and he drinks it. I don't like that. I would rather you show the can, show that it has no holes in it, and then open it up from the top, <clears throat> open it up from the top, and then drink it like that. I would rather him do that than I might then I would say, okay, at least the Coca-Cola is real. How am I supposed to know that that's actually Coca-Cola in there and not like water or something? Okay, he gave a disgusted face at the end there, but how am I not again? How am I supposed to know that that's not hot sauce, like twenty percent hot sauce and like eighty percent water? He doesn't show him doing the stuff. He doesn't show him preparing the stuff. He doesn't show him preparing the hot sauce drink. He doesn't show him like preparing for the videos. He just does it, which is why I think he's fake. Let's move on.
Okay, so I have multiple problems with this video. Number one, how am I supposed to know that he didn't cut a hole in the bottom of the wasabi tube and, like, brush his teeth with it? With, like, guacamole or something? Because that's what he did. If you check out my uh, f uh, last Luke did that video a couple, three, three months ago, if you check that out, I talk about how he, like, cuts the bottom of the wasabi tube open empties it all out, probably rinses it out with water, and then fills it with guacamole. I talk about that. Go check that out. Um, but in a couple other videos, he actually does expose the bottom of the wasabi tube, and it isn't cut open. But I have a theory on that, and I'll share my theory once we get to that video. But like, with both the chug, <clears throat> with the chugging thing, he, sure, he showed the can. But like, well, I don't understand why he fills it, why he fills that little amount to the top. Is he saying he's fake? Because I think it's like 20% actually coke and like 80% water. Because there's no way that a man can chug an entire thing, an entire bottle of actual, actual Coca-Cola. But I will give this guy props for this. this. is probably the only good thing I'm going to say about Luke is that his chugging skills are amazing. I didn't mean for that to sound weird, but he can, like, chug water and chug supposedly all 100% Coca-Cola really good. He can chug liquids in from a bottle very good. He can do that amazingly, which I'll give him props for that. He is good at that. Two tubes of wasabi. So you can see, you saw the bottom of the tube, but my theory here, here's my theory, he emptied out the wasabi, the real stuff. He, like, emptied it out into the garbage or something, got a syringe, and filled it. He, like, went into the top of the wasabi tube with a syringe and injected it with actual, like, guacamole or something like that. That's my theory. Again, I could be wrong. That could be the actual wasabi in the wasabi tube. Um, but then again, I, my theory could be right. My theory could be right. I don't know. But notice how that all just like gushed out too. I just realized this right now, no joke, when I was watching this video for the first time earlier, before I made this video, um, I didn't think of this just until now. Notice how all of that just like came out of there. Like there was something broken. There's probably some like protective seal in there that like, makes it like so it only slowly comes out so it doesn't just pour all over the place and since he punctured it probably with a syringe it probably broke and then it all just like came out when he sque squeezed it into his mouth i just realized that right now jalapeno Carolina Reaper. I did talk about this in my other Luke did that video. That is not a Carolina Reaper. That is a sun-dried tomato. Look up the look up an image of a sun-dried Carolina Reaper, and look up the image of a sun-dried tomato. And a sun-dried tomato looks exactly what he had in his hand there. Look it up. I might show you. That. You know, I'm going to show you that right now. Uh, here's what Luke has in his hand. That's a sun-dried tomato. Tell me. That is not what he has in his hand. Tell me that. There are better images out there. Like when I first did, when I did my last look, did that video, I did find better images of sun dried tomatoes. I couldn't find it. Oh, here, right here. Look. Tell me that's not what he has in his hand. Tell me that. Right now. I dare you. I dare, I, I mean, tell me that. It, it's a sun dried tomato, obviously. A Carolina Reaper does not look like that. Carolina Reaper. No reaction. My boy Luke. My boy Luke's getting mad. You see that? He was like, no reaction. Like, he was serious about that no reaction part. Like, he was tired of getting called fake. But, spoiler alert, Luke 
You are fake. I've ex I'm exposing you for a second time now. Look, I'm tired of the crap. Come out and say you're fake, and we'll all re get respect you more that you've come out and say you that you're fake. But I have a feeling this guy is never going to admit he's admit admit he's fake. He's so obviously fake. I mean, I'm showing you all this evidence. I'm giving you theories that are actual like good theories, and like he's fake. Luke, come out and say you're fake. Honestly, we'll all respect you more. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but I'm gonna mention it. I have no idea if I mentioned it earlier. He did take, like, a four-month hiatus from YouTube. Seven months ago was his TikTok uh, compilation or challenge compilation, and then he started up again three months ago. I think that was right around the time he got banned actually. So three months ago, he's been banned for three months. I mean, not banned, his whole account's gone. Go on TikTok and look up Luke did that. There's no account. It's just like re-uploads of his videos from other people, or like people exposing him or people making fun of him on TikTok. Look it up. There's no, no remnants of the original Luke did that. Just re-uploads from other people and people exposing him. Uh, so yeah. No, no remnants of the original Luke did that on TikTok. He's gone. Um, but he did, like I said, he took a, like a four month hiatus from YouTube uh, around the time he got banned. Uh, and he came back around the, around the time he got banned. Um, but yeah, his music video is gone, all gone. Uh, let's watch about two more videos and then we'll probably call it a day. Look, look, I knew this was the video. He cut it open. He cut it open. See that wasabi squirt out at the top there? That is guacamole. That is guacamole. So maybe my theory is wrong that he did the syringe thing. Maybe that's wrong. I don't know. But I don't know how he cut it open to the top there. Let's check that out again. Hold on. Well, let's finish the video first, actually. I mean, the hot sauce looks watered down. Is it just me, or do I think that hot sauce does look watered down? Like the the bulldog hot sauce, the sriracha, I think, whatever that uh like other stuff was he had on a spoon. I mean, it all looks watered down. He probably did water it down because this is Luke did that we're talking about. Uh, yeah. My other problem with this guy is he doesn't talk. He's like Bayashi. He never talks. Like Spice King Cam, uh, Jumbo Spice, Rami Zane, they all talk. They're like, today guys we have atomic boneless wings. We have these, we're gonna be putting a bunch of hot sauce on it. Uh, he doesn't talk. He's silent. Have, have you guys seen the movie Invasion of the Body Snatchers? Like, the body snatch, like they take people, they morph them into like some like a copy of them, like a clone of them, pretty much. And like, they show no emotion. This guy shows no emotion. This guy would be perfect in a invasion of the body snatchers apocalypse. This guy shows no emotion whatsoever. Like the pods, like show no emotion. And if you show emotion, you're caught as a, like a human and then you're toned into a pod. Go check out the movie, um, invasion of the body snatchers. It's a very good movie, go check it out. But this guy would be perfect in the invasion of the body snatchers. He wouldn't get caught. He'd be like the only human left on the planet, and everyone else would be a pod. Except him, because this guy shows no emotion. He'd be perfect. Check this out. Yeah, look. See that wasabi coming out at the top? I don't know how he does it. But maybe he cut it open in the back. That's my theory. He like, I don't know how he does it, though. 
Like, how does he get, he like, like this part right here, right here where my cursor is, should be cut off. Because he, he's done that before. I uh, Check out my, again, check out my other loop did that video. Uh, you'll hear me explain how he cuts the bottom of this off and fills it with guacamole instead of the wasabi that's supposed to be in the tube. But I don't know. Honestly, I don't know how he does it. Now look, look at all that. How did he do that? Maybe he cut it open in the back? I'm not too sure. But I still think my theory stands with that one video where he like got a syringe and like where he emptied it out first and then he put a syringe in there and then shot it in with guacamole. That sounded dirty. And then he uh, shot the guacamole into the tube of wasabi and then he calls it wasabi even though it's like all guacamole um i think that theory still sta uh, stands especially for that video because i don't know because any any other time luke would squeeze the wasabi in his mouth any other time he would do that it would not gush out like that that wasabi was a mess it was all over his hands i think it was all over the top of the tube that guacamole uh, well, I'm gonna just gonna call it guacamole. It was a mess. So he had to have like punctured something in there, some like filter or stopper that makes it slowly come out when you squeeze it. He must have punctured that with a syringe, and that's what made it gush out. With the uh, syringe, he made it, he punctured something to make it like gush out like that. Not uh, the other video, the other wasabi video. Um, but this, I still don't know how he does this. It's obviously guacamole, I'm gonna say that. It's obviously uh, guacamole, there's no doubt about that. Um, but I don't know how he cut it open in the back there and like filled it with guacamole. I don't know how he does it. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna end it here actually, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, comment, like, and subscribe. I love you guys. See you in the next one. Still don't know if you- but by the way guys, if you- know how he does this right here please comment it down below because i have no idea it's obviously guacamole but i don't know how he got the guacamole in there without cutting the bottom of it open or puncturing the top of it with a syringe and filling it with guacamole i don't know how he does the top thing right here please comment your answers down below because i have no idea um but if you guys know drop it down below drop your thoughts in the comments down below of the uh, luke did that Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Peace.